Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got uh, another nice matchup here. Number 12 ranked Northern Colorado Bears traveling to take on the UNLV Rebels. And the Bears have had a pretty good season so far to start. Let's take a look at their schedule. As soon as I get this graphic off the screen. But they beat Boise State 31-30. And the Broncos are now 0-2 on the season. And then they beat Akron last week, 49-28. to So they beat a couple quality opponents so far. And it doesn't really get much easier for the Bears as they face UNLV today. And then UC Davis in Week 5. I mean, this is just a brutal schedule. And maybe only a couple wins that are pretty much guaranteed. But the Bears have definitely a tough, tough schedule compared to the rest of our FCS schools. We got three games left in week four. Our next game after this one's going to be number 16, New Mexico State, at number 14, Cal Poly. Mustangs coming off a loss to Prairie View AM. And then our final game of week four is going to be the number nine ranked Jacksonville Dolphins at the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. That one should be a fun game as well. Nice little SEC matchup. And do not forget to like and subscribe, folks. Join our Discord community if you haven't already. And let's do this. Get my chat up on the phone. See who we got. We got Bryson Shields, Marvin Joseph, Chaos Driven up in the chat. What's going on, guys? Hope you're all well on this fine Thursday evening. All right, let's see what we got here. Should we go blue? Blue pants. Or... Should we go yellow? You know, let's go yellow. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. Make sure my graphics are all set. Tech there tracks is out for this game today, so that's their number one corner. So we're gonna see Angel Hernandez out there taking on the number one target. Hammer Jammer in the chat. What's going on, brother? Hope you're having a great day, man. Out there in sunny San Diego. You lucky son of a gun. Yeah, let's get the ball first. Aiden Davis starting quarterback for the Bears. True, uh, true sophomore. Looking forward to seeing him sling it here today. Turn the volume up in my headset. Let's get it. Darius Mitchell. On for the return. And he's going to be dropped at the 16-yard line. Let's take a look at the offense for Northern Colorado, led by sophomore quarterback Aiden Davis, number 27. And he is backed up by Darrell Stats. He's a junior. And the stable of running backs, Eric Tavares, Darius Mitchell, Double Stack Rivers, Jada Streets, and Tyler Rocky. And blocking for all those guys is Gavin Brady. At fullback, we'll go over the rest of the offense here in a moment. As Streets gets to the outside, he might be gone. Oh my goodness, he is so fast. Huge run from Streets. The rest of the offense is Howard Bresnigale and Darren Van Baren at wide receiver. And at tight end is Smokey Callahan. On the offensive front, Mike Heath at left tackle, Will Jefferson at right, and Sebastian Hernandez at center. They are all first team All-American linemen. And that is going to be a face mask. Tops is going to get his cheeks clapped at number one corner today. He just might. He just might, guys. That spin, though. Yeah, Jada is so quick with that spin. Cloudy and windy right now, Hammer? That sounds terrible. It's like 90 degrees here at my house. Okay, Tavares, I see you. Inside the 45-yard line of UNLV. Let's go play action. Take a deep shot to the right side to Van Baron. Or possibly Callahan on the corner route. Van Baron, he's got him beat. And he's got it. Touchdown, Northern Colorado. Darren Van Baron just beats three defenders. And Aiden Davis drops a dime. My goodness. 
Let's go. Huge play to number 64, Darren Van Baren, true freshman wide receiver. Ninety sounds horrible. Yeah, especially it's just it's humid, so it's like dead air. You can't really breathe, and then you got to wear those stupid masks in stores, which I went shopping today. That was just amazing. Yeah, upstate New York weather is just atrocious. I hate it. We have six months of winter, and then like two months of, you know, 90 plus degree weather. Oh my goodness, sit down, son. And, and then we have rain, like that's it. Our fall is very short. We basically just go from the summer into winter. All right, we'll go over the defense here in a moment. Rebels on offense in the shotgun set and wide open over the middle is Terry the tight end and he'll get close to the sticks Let's take a look at the defense And Jack Mary has tacked their tracks the number one corner of course is injured I believe he's gonna be out for one more game after this so Angel Hernandez is gonna be taking over the number one spot for him And Deacon Cooper at free safety Bully Cooper at strong safety two first team All-Americans Yeah, okay, good luck. Thanks pal you want to not hit me? Really? Really, you just costed me a pick six. So hurtful. You literally just got home. Now you're watching good content. What's going on, little Mike? How you doing, buddy? Just watch, watch my linebacker block me into a tackle. Feels bad. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? First and goal from the four. Crowd going insane here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Aiden Davis dropped at the one yard line. Oh my goodness. Up to nine viewers now on the stream. Don't forget to slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community today. Get yourself on this field. You can be playing for the Bears this season. Or any of our other 11 schools. The Demon in the chat. What's going on, buddy? And double sack. Rivers is going to punch it in for the touchdown. Bears on top by two scores now. My linebacker playing for UNLV. He might be, man. He just might be. He doesn't want to see Bully shine. All right, let me get a trivia question here for you guys. Hold on, hold on now. Pull up a random stat from last season. Extra point is up and it is good. Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on? This is our 17 point favorite plays. Yes, sir. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's going on, Ron? How you doing, buddy? All right. All right, we all know that Mr. Highlight led the country in returns for touchdowns last season on his Heisman campaign. Uh-oh, nice return by Porter. Uh, Mr. Highlight had two kick returns for touchdowns last season and nine punt returns for scores. Who is the only other player, subscriber player, to tie him in kick returns for touchdowns with two? Okay, good, good run after the catch by Sykes. My sweet revenge in the chat. What's going on? How you doing, Audrey? This isn't going to be close. <laughs> Come on, Hammer. Have some faith in the Rebels. It's still early. It could be crazy here. Okay. Good pressure up the middle. I like it. Second down and 10. Quarterback draw. And he actually got some yards out of it. Okay, then. Okay. All right, getting out of the 3-4 because it's just not really doing a whole lot for me. I may be able to do another stream after this one. I'm not sure. 
we shall see. We got two more games left. Oh my goodness, two more games left here in week three or week four rather. All right, let's block this. Oh my goodness! How is that not blocked, my guy? Please get away from the ball. We ran into the kicker. Oh my goodness. What happened on this play? How close were we? Oh, Deacon, my guy. Guys, that's the closest that we've been so far. Look at that. Look. Oh my goodness gracious. And then he ran into him. He didn't even knock him over or anything. What is this? You have faith in me, not some poor attempt at competition the computer's throwing out here? <laughs> yeah, it's looked a little rough so far. All right, fair catch. Tyler Rocky catches it at the 12-yard line. And nobody has attempted my trivia question. Feels bad. Well, Stats is in at quarterback here. Throw it up. Smokey Callahan is there. And he's got it at the 46-yard line. First down, Northern Colorado. Too easy. Gavin Brady out there as well. Big fullback. What was the question? Oh, my goodness. The question was, uh, Mr. Highlight led the country and all subscriber players in returns for touchdowns with two kick returns and nine punt returns for scores. What other subscriber player had two kick returns for touchdowns? And what was that play right there? The other return man also had five punt returns for scores as well. So just think, who who is a nasty return man? One-on-one -on -one coverage, Darren Van Baren out there again. Oh, deflected away. All right, what do we got here? Third and ten. Let's go shoddy. A little curl flats action. Tyler Rocky? What do you mean, my guy? Tyler Rocky wasn't even the return man for throwing the Colorado last season. Wide open. Let's go, Jada. First down. You guys are killing me with these answers. MJ Gator Jr. Uh, no, MJ actually only had one kick return and one punt return for touchdowns last season. Stack Rivers, oh, he's dropped after two yards. All right, second down and eight. From the 32-yard line. Oh, my goodness, Tavares just bodied in the backfield. Someone, that's your answer. I like it. You're not wrong. <laughs> well, Hammer, you need to, uh, you know, go back and, and watch, buddy. Just saying. Educate yourself, sir. Who wants it? Oh, nice throw. Oh, my goodness. He's short of the first down, but oh, my. We're going for it. Let's do it. Crowd is going absolutely bananas, and Tyler Rocky doesn't get it. He is stuffed for a loss. Good play by the Rebels. All right, the answer to the question is Jamar Hicks, corner for South Dakota State. 
He had two kick returns for touchdowns, which is tied with Mr. Highlight for the most out of all subscriber players, and five punt returns for scores last season. This trivia question sponsored by an insurance company like Progressive or Allstate? No, that'd be sick, though. I'd love to get a sponsor. Sponsor some trivia questions. Have some nice little graphics up on the screen for you guys. That was a terrible throw. All right, third down and nine. Okay then, fourth down, I like it. All right, let me get another another trivia question here for you. I don't care if you guys are enjoying it, I am. So, what's up? All right, here's one. Maybe. Nah, we'll do a different one. Come on, guys, block one. Just one time. Tyler Rocky. On for the punt return, out of bounds at the 27. UNC for Pac-10 champs? Maybe, man. They're having a good season so far. Throw stats in that quarterback. He can run. Pitches it out late to Darius Mitchell. Gets the first down. That's the end of the first quarter. Bears on top. 14 to nothing over UNLV. All right, trying to find some something good here. Hold on. All right, Davis. Oh, good pump fake. Van Baron with the catch. And picks up eight or nine yards. All right, here's a good one. Who led all quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns last season? How about that? Just think of all these scrambling quarterbacks. All right, second down and two. Davis under center. Steps up in the pocket, and Jada Streets drops it. Surprised I only have 14. Yeah, well, we went for it on fourth down. Didn't quite get it. So we could have had 21 right there. It's all good. And Darrell Stats in that quarterback again. Pump fake. Try to take off here. Gets the first down and more up the right sideline inside the 45. Double stack, always falling forward. Picks up six or seven yards up the gut. All right, let's give it off to the fullback, Gavin Brady. Let that young man shine. You're guessing Owen Black? Any other guesses? Gavin Brady up the middle, following blockers. First down for the Bears. Excuse me. Nicholas Hall is the quarterback for Southern Utah. He had 11 touchdowns on the ground last season. That was good for fourth out of subscriber players. Aiden Davis going to take off here. He's got blocking all the way inside the 10-yard line. Okay, then. The correct answer is Owen Black for UC Davis. He had 14 touchdowns on the ground last season. Jeremy Carroll, what's wrong with you, Hammer? He is not a running quarterback. He did have two touchdowns on the ground, though. And there's Tavares up the gut untouched. And that is a score for the Bears. 20 to nothing now here in the second. You want video of him beating me in NCAA 14? No, you don't. It was the ugliest game of all time. I picked the Buffalo Bulls, and 
They're trash. <laughs> and it's 21 nothing. There's our time. It's on the 360. Yeah, it's on the 360, and I had never played it on that before in my life. It's the first time I've used a Xbox 360 controller in probably seven years. And it was weird. It felt really weird. Who did he use? Oh, I can't even remember, honestly. How did I miss that tackle, my guy? Face mask, sick. Yeah, that entire game, my offensive line was just on their back, so I couldn't do a thing. Oh, you used uh, Cincinnati, Adam. That's who you used. Pass right side, that's Frazier, and he is dropped for a loss. All right, second down and three now from the 44. Oh, nice tackle. All you know is they were evenly matched stat-wise. Yeah, they're pretty even. Uh, your defense was obviously much better than mine. My poor quarterback. Got sacked like, I don't even know how many times. One play, your linebacker was in there before I even turned around. It was insane. Played in around, get him! Let's go! Oh, it's a face mask. I hate to see it. I hate that animation. That tackle animation is terrible. Pass, nice deflection, let's go. Second down and 10. And Angel Hernandez on the tackle. First and 10 from the 40, UNLV putting together a decent drive here. Good pass right side, and Bully Cooper misses the tackle, but Deacon does not. He lays the wood to him and forces a fumble. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. You know, I feel like I haven't played in a home stadium for one of our schools in forever, and I really feel deprived of pumping up the crowd. What's that? Get him. Yeah, good luck with that play. Aiden Davis in the chat. Regear Productions as well. What's going on, guys? Aiden, you missed a deep 44-yard touchdown pass earlier from you to Darren Van Baron, true freshman receiver, number 64. It was a beautiful throw. A triple coverage. Get him. Good to see you're a god as usual. <laughs> if you were a god, you would have been on time. What's up? Got him. All right, third down and six. Big play here. What was that animation? What was that? Oh, my goodness. That should have been a pick. Wow. Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's going on, my brother? 
you have food poisoning? This always makes you feel better. I'm sorry to hear that you got food poisoning, my friend. What did you eat and why? Also, you missed two trivia questions and you would have enjoyed them. One of them is a special teams trivia question. That was a nice drive for UNLV. Should have been a pick at the end there, but you know, I digress. And Data Streets set to return to kick off. Get the block, please. Get the block. They didn't get the block. You have to flu like MJ? Yes. Flu game! Trivia like who's the best long snapper. Yeah, how many perfect snaps did Tom Schaefer for Cal Poly have last season? That's another trivia question. Jay Balmer in the chat. What's going on, man? Throwing it up deep. Oh, he overthrew him. Man, he has a gun. <laughs> oh, man. Why are they upset? What's happening? Second down and 10. Stepping it up in the pocket. Quick strike. Nice deflection. Feels bad. All right, third down and 10 from the 19. Stadium is going crazy. Throw it up. Oh, what a dime. Did Jada Streets at the 40 yard line? Basically Patrick Mahomes. All right, Aiden. Calm down there, buddy. Calm down, please. <laughs> How about you win yourself a bowl game first, and then you can compare yourself to MVP caliber quarterbacks. Throw it up deep. Darren Van Baron. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> oh, man. Feels bad. Don't forget to slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And join that beautiful Discord community that we have. Almost 150 members up in that beast. Alright, they're down to seven. Let's see what we can do here. Might take off. Nope. Oh, what was that throw? Threw it way too far to the right. Guess we're going to have to punt the ball away. Should be good. Let's go. Let's go. Out of bounds around the five-yard line. Beautiful kick, and the crowd goes mild. Excuse me while I shake up my half and half. When a boy slay you. <laughs> don't worry, Marvin. Your time's coming, buddy. Don't, don't you worry. You got this. I believe in you. Just got to get it to where I, I am using Jacksonville. Stop making it to big bowl games, all right? Because you always end up facing a Pac-10 school. Oh, safety. Let's go. Simpson. His first sack of the year. Simpson is a true freshman player. If you do not have a player in the series and you would like one, you can customize that man right there. As you can see, he's on special teams as well. Gets plenty of playing time. And here's Darius Mitchell. Gets to the outside and dropped at the 47-yard line. Yeah, boom. Boom all. All right, what are we doing here? Let's go play action.
All right, another trivia question, guys. How many safeties did we see in season two? Deep shot. Darren Van Baron. Got him. Touchdown, Bears. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's go. So beautiful. That was just glorious. All right, 30 to 7 now. Johnny Ligurski's extra point is up and good. Ligurski serves as the Bears' kicker and punter and also does the kickoffs because he's just that good. Let's get him. Okay, nice tackle, nice tackle. Okay, then. One minute left for the Rebels here in the first half. I think we had six safeties, eight, another six, three safeties. I can tell you that you're you're all wrong. It's way more than three though. So the guesses of six and eight are very close. Second down and five. I think I'm a blitz right here. Shouldn't have blitzed. Oh, Topsy. Just <laughs> he got toppled over. Goodness gracious. Alex Dar in the chat. What's going on, Alex? Yes, the correct answer is seven safeties last season, guys. Done by four teams. The Dayton Flyers had three, San Diego Toreros had one, the Bryant Bulldogs had one, and one other team had two. Who is that other team? All right, they're down to four. Let's get it. I'm going for him. Going for his head. Let's go. Oh, I missed. That's all right. We got him anyway. Let's go. All right. We got two timeouts left. We're going to get the ball around 20 seconds left here in the half. 22 seconds to go 88 yards. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Got a Jacksonville and a Southern Utah guess. Nice blocking. Okay, this could be really good. Jada Streets down the left sideline. You're not going to catch him. Oh, baby. Let's go. Touchdown, Bears. Give you guys a couple more minutes on that other trivia question. Hey, Hammer Jammer got it correct. The Savannah State Tigers had two safeties in season two. Rashad Farrell as a true freshman had one, and Rayshon Griffin as a sophomore middle linebacker had one. The other players that had safeties last season were Stephon Okafor, linebacker for the Bryant Bulldogs, and for the Dayton Flyers, corner Jermaine Price, and both true freshman linebackers D.B. Slocum and Dirk Davis had one each. And for the San Diego Toreros, defensive end Boom Johnson had a safety last year. Class of 2010 president, what's going on, brother? 
Running back looking like Reggie Bush. Yes, sir. Jada Streets is a beast. Wow, I just got plowed over. Bully Cooper just took a seat. And on that note, that is the end <laughs> of the first half. Our next, uh, oh my goodness, what is this graphic? What is this? All right, we'll work on that, Hammer. <laughs> Why is that so huge? Oh my goodness. Our next game, anyways, is going to be Cal Poly taking on New Mexico State. Mustangs looking to rebound after that humiliating defeat at the hands of Prairie View A&M in Week 3. Yeah, that graphic is double the size of what is supposed to be Hammer. I don't know what is going on. Make it stop. All right, first down and 10 to start the third quarter. Rebels got the ball. Nice juke. Too bad you went nowhere. I knew you'd like that matchup, Tom. That's why I put him on Cal Poly's schedule. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that weak sauce, brother. The Mario Griffin, not subscriber player, injured his chest on the play. Probably just got the wind knocked out of him. Let's hope for that. They're down in 10. You reset it, Hammer. I got you. The stream may lag just for a moment. Forgive me. Third and 10. Deep shot. And Deacon Cooper with a pick. Oh, he gets dropped at the 37-yard line. He's just too good. He's too good. 17 career picks for the Deacon. All right, bet. Bet. Let's see if I can get that graphic working again here. Don't know why it was like that. There we go. That's the next game, guys. Number 14, Cal Poly at number 16, New Mexico State. Shout out to Hammer Jammer with his impeccable thumbnail art. So beautiful. And here's Darius Mitchell on the carry. Picks up four or five yards to the left side. Computers like, how dare you open Discord and run the stream at the same time? Pretty much. It like has a heart attack when I do it. Oh, baby, Darren Van Baron got him again! The hat trick for the freshman! Aiden Davis slinging just some dirty passes out here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's dead! <laughs> Pretty much. What a throw. Oh my goodness. Davis to Van Barron. That's a connection we'll probably see for at least one more season. You still hate the Prairie View game? It's all right, Jay. We'll, we'll get revenge on the uh, New Mexico State Aggies. 44 to seven here in the third quarter. All right, Lugerski on for the kickoff. The Bears looking really good so far this season. The switch at quarterback from Darrell Stats to Aiden Davis did wonders. Oh my goodness! Did someone? Did anyone see me absolutely destroy? That lineman, I think it was the left guard with Bully Cooper right here. Boom. Sit down, son. My goodness. You still haven't left yet? You said you're going to leave like an hour ago. What are you doing with your life? Feels bad. All right, second down and 12. And he is sacked instantly. Oh, my goodness gracious. McNeil, the right end, gets the sack. Oh, 
Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, another trivia question. What is the longest field goal that we have made in this series? Doesn't have to be a subscriber play. Just how long was it? And what was that punt? My goodness. I think a 54 yarder, Jay. Hammer Jammer guessing a 60. We got a 53 guess in here. 62-52. I can tell you that Hammer Jammer is correct. 60-yard field goal last season we hit with Quasi Sands from the Jacksonville Dolphins. Oh, what a block. Oh, Aiden Davis with a juke. Get out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was nasty. Parker Thomas in the chat. What's going on, Parker? Look at Aiden Davis out here with his sick juke move. Come on, now. So beautiful. OSU rocks in the chat. What's going on, man? Howard Bresnagel's wide open, and he's inside the five-yard line. That's his first catch of the ball game. Yes, Hammer, you were correct, sir. Quasi Sands, 60-yard field goal last season. He was 20 of 23 on the year. Double Stack Rivers gets another carry on the game. Dropped by the face mask, and they do not throw the flag. Tyler Rocky gets it in there. That's the 50 burger. Fifty-one to seven, Bears turning it on here. Do 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 do. Get him, McGee. Okay, we missed. Uh oh, look out. That's face mask. More cowbell. Oh my goodness. Where is that throw? Oh my goodness, I dove a little bit too far backwards. Alright, second down and 10. And deep shot left side, that's going way out of bounds. Not a very good throw. Okay, fellows, let's go. Let's go. And that's fourth down. 
All right, another trivia question, guys. Who is the career leader from subscriber players with the most broken tackles? Think about all those running backs. Who breaks the most tackles, guys? Deep shot again. Darren Van Baren beats his man once again and has it inside the 25-yard line. Five catches, 198 yards, and three touchdowns. Wow. They can't guard him on the right side. They just can't do it. Aiden Davis is throwing straight fire out here. Take off, Aiden. A seven yard carry. Think it's Brandon Allen, Jay? You are correct. He has 190, well, in his freshman and sophomore season combined, had 190 broken tackles. Guy's a stud. Oh, I was going to try to hit Baron over the, Van Baron over the middle. It was holding anyway. On Sebastian Hernandez, the center. Unreal. All right, let's see. Second down and 13 to go. Oh my goodness, wow, they got in there so fast. That's actually hurtful, so hurtful. Can you create an account for your cats? No, Parker, no. What do you mean? <laughs> Who, who are we going to hit here? Who won? Nobody. I just throw it up to Van Baron. Oh, he almost had it, too. That would have been insane. All right. Johnny Ligurski on for the field goal attempt. First of the game for him. It has to be real people, Parker. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. That's good. That's money. 54 to 7 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. to get a trivia sponsor. I know, man. That'd be awesome. Uh-oh. He, he's gone. He's absolutely gone. That's what I get for reading the chat. Alright, that just means, you know, more offense for us. Yeah, that'd be sick if we can get a sponsor for trivia questions. I could do like, I don't know, one trivia question per half or something and have them, you know, pre-prepared for, for each stream. I think that would be pretty dope. Okay, streaks up to the 19-yard line. All right, all right.
Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we got it back. <laughs> Will Jefferson recovers it. Oh, my goodness. All right, another trivia question, guys. This one is about tackles. Who has the most tackles in their career out of all subscriber players? Obviously, only counting season one and two. That is going to be the final play of the third quarter. Bears are on top 54 to 14 here in Las Vegas, Nevada over the UNLV Rebels. The Rebels. All right, let's get it. Bears three of six on third downs tonight. Oh, boy. Chucking it up deep again. Van Baren's got to step on him. And he's got another one. He's gone. Four touchdowns for Darren Van Baren. Oh, my goodness. And he's over 250 yards receiving. Unbelievable. He's not even doing anything special. He's just running right by this cornerback. Good lordy. Unbelievable. And it is 61 to 14 now. Wow. Bears are looking dangerous. Turn for a quarter this time. Topsy in the chat. What's going on, brother? Topsy, a.k.a. Angel Hernandez. Number one corner on Northern Colorado right now. That was one of the worst throws I've ever seen in my life. Where was that going? crowd is a little upset here tonight. Oh, that should have been a pick. Crowd is just letting them hear it. Very quickly, a third and ten situation for the Rebels. Over the middle, and a nice deflection by Fellows. <laughs> Three straight incomplete passes. Let's block one. We were so close earlier. About 10 inches away from blocking. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to actually have a heart attack if we, we do block one eventually. I got to see how close that one was, too. That one looked even closer than the first one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Fellows. Come on, man. So close, guys. We're going to get there eventually, I'm telling you. It's going to happen. Nobody knows who the uh, all-time tackle leader is. Feels bad. Okay, Tavares. Would have been all right if he didn't get caught on his own lineman. I bet if Rocky Clearwater was here, or Tyler Rocky, they'd know who has the most tackles. Try to run this clock out on the Rebels. Get out of here with the dub. And I did not want to actually hand that off. Hey, there's Tyler Rocky in the chat. Hey, Tyler, how you doing, buddy? Do you know the answer to our trivia question? 
who is the career leader in tackles in the FCS Dynasty? Who is a tackling machine? Third down and five. Double stack Rivers behind Gavin Brady in the I formation. And double stack will get the first down and more. Still going up to the 45 yard line. This crowd is silent. I mean, you can hear the football fall on the ground. Do, 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 do. Alright, we're going to hand this off to Eric Tavares, junior running back slash wide receiver slash whatever else he plays. He's all over the field. And Tavares is going to pick up four yards off the left side. And they actually give him credit for five. I like it. You don't know, Tyler. Oh, my goodness. Well, in season one, he is the only player that had triple-digit tackles. There's a hint for you. Tyler Rocky blown up in the backfield. We just can't get any blocking for him tonight. I don't know what's going on. Third down and six now. No worries, Tyler. You can always watch the replay, bud. Move Heron in motion over here to the left side. Get an extra blocker. And Davis did not want to pitch that ball away. You know we're going to go for it. Come on now. Run some more clock down. Try to get another first. I'm an effing problem in the chat. What's going on, man? You missed some crazy plays by Mr. Jada Streets. Fourth down. And Mitchell gets the first down. Nice spin off that broken tackle. That was beautiful. Mitchell, the only senior running back. He was actually a sophomore at the start of this series. Well, everyone else was a true freshman. You waiting on the game of the year? Well, Tom, um, that one might be happening right after this one. Just depends on how much time I have, but we'll see. Double stack, Rivers breaking a tackle, and he might be gone. Now he's not fast enough. But he's inside the 10-yard line. Keep it on the ground. I, I am. I'm doing it. Come on now. I don't think I've thrown it this drive, right? Or did I? I don't, I don't even remember. All right, what do we got here? We got one guy on the right side. This is a power option to the right. That's easy money. Tyler Rocky's in for the touchdown. And it's about to be 68-14. Yeah, Tyler, I, I'm going to try to get um, the Cal Poly and New Mexico State game done right after this one. I will let you guys know in the Discord community for sure if it's happening. Story of the game so far, Darren Van Baren, true freshman wide receiver with four touchdown receptions and over 250 yards receiving for the Northern Colorado Bears.
at their own 19 yard line. Look at the yard difference. Oh my goodness. Backups are in for UNLV. And Samuel goes absolutely nowhere. Loses three yards on the run. After this week of FCS games is over, we have two games left after this one. Um, we're going to be doing week two of the EFL. It's not going to be four games in a row like it has been because I don't have five and a half hours of free time anymore to do that. Uh, but we're going to be doing two games at a time instead. And the first... Look at those stats. Van Baron, six catches, 274 yards. My goodness. But the first stream of the EFL is going to be next week sometime. I'm not sure exactly when as Clark gets sacked. Loss of six on the play. But it might be Monday night. Because my job, my first job that I have every day is a painting job. So it all depends on the weather here. So if it's raining... I'll be streaming during the day sometimes. And I work at night from uh, around 5.30ish to 9.30ish. And no block punt again. So sad. Here's Tyler Rocky on for the return. Oh, that spin was so beautiful. Hey, Tom Schaefer with a super chat. The second ever on the channel. Craniac Gaming was the first. Appreciate you, Tom. Go Cal Poly, New Mexico State game. Yes, sir. You're the best, Tom. You're the best around. I don't know why. I just, I just I can't stop singing that song. It's classic. I don't even know what's happening on this play. It feels weird. All right, so we've made $7 on Super Chats past few days. I like it. You guys are goats actual legends. That is going to be the final play of the game, guys. Northern Colorado gets a big time victory here in Las Vegas, Nevada. 68 to 14 over the UNLV Rebels. Aiden Davis to Darren Van Baron. That was the story of the game. They just they they couldn't even stop him. Just deep shot after deep shot. You didn't know that we had that? The Super Chat? Yeah, it's new. Once you hit 1,000 subscribers, you get the Super Chat uh, thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. Anybody can donate at any time. And we're almost up to $100 on YouTube revenue, guys. All right, let's check out these stats real quick. 678 yards of offense. Oh, my goodness. 293 on the ground. 385 through the air. When have you ever seen the Northern Colorado Bears have almost 400 passing yards in a game? I don't think you ever have. I don't think so. Zero sacks on Davis. Zero turnovers. Two takeaways. 777 total yards. My goodness. Get dominated, son. Oh, we also had um, Pete Mitchell, a.k.a. John Perez, donate $5 in the Discord community the other day as well to boost the server so we can keep those lovely emotes. 323 yards passing for Davis. 9 of 17, 4 touchdowns. The guy is an absolute cannon of an arm. Streets, 3 carries, 107 yards and a touchdown. Double stack, Rivers had a touchdown. Eric Tavares had one on the ground. And Tyler Rocky, 4 carries, 9 yards, 2 scores. Now 3 0 for the season. Yes, sir. You guys are dominating. Look at these stats. Six catches, 274 yards, four touchdowns. Wow. He also had a drop. So he could have had close to 300 yards receiving. Insane. Dean Cooper, five tackles. He had a pick. Boulder Cooper, three tackles and a pick. Almost a pick six. Got blocked by my own linebacker. Felt real bad. Almost cried. Three sacks for the defense. A couple freshmen who are available for customization for anybody that does not have a player. 
bunch of pass deflections. Forced fumble from Deacon Cooper. No recovery. We had a safety by Marcus Simpson, true freshman. Ligurski, one of one, 47 yard field goal tonight. Nine of nine, extra points. And 11 kickoffs, three touchbacks. He also had one punt for 51 yards inside the 20. And that will do it for this one, guys. Players of the game, Van Barron, Davis, and Deacon Cooper. Porter, McClellan, and Brooks for the UNLV Rebels, who were 36 in the nation. They started off the season ranked. Let me see what they were ranked here in the top 25 Discord channel. When they started the season. Let's see. UNLV. They were ranked 17th to start the season. So they've lost three straight. And they they just can't get it together. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know what's happening. But our next game, which should be out here shortly. Uh, give me about 10 to 15 minutes, guys. I'll get that one started. It's going to be the 14th ranked Cal Poly Mustangs looking to rebound after a devastating loss. To the Prairie View A&M Panthers uh, last week, taking on the 16th ranked New Mexico State Aggies. So it's Tom Schaefer, uh, you know, star long snapper for the Mustangs, taking on his favorite college, New Mexico State. I'll see you guys at that one soon. Take it easy, guys.